Good morning and welcome to today's International Space Station Update Hour. You're joining us here inside of the flight control room in Houston, Texas, where the Orbit 2 team is currently on console, monitoring all of the systems on board the orbiting laboratory. Today they're being led by Flight Director Heather Rarick, and joining her to the left is Capcom Dan Tanney, serving as the voice communication link between controllers here on the ground and the astronauts up in space. And those astronauts right now are the crew of Expedition 30, uh, moving into uh, one of the last few weeks of their uh, expedition. They're being led by Commander Dan Burbank there in the front row on the left of your screen. He is also a NASA astronaut, and he'll be returning home uh, on April 27th, just uh, less than two weeks from now, with the two people behind him, Russian cosmonauts Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin. Also along the back row, we have uh, European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Kuipers, NASA astronaut Don Pettit, and Russian cosmonaut Alag Kononenko in the front row right, who will remain on board the station and become the crew of Expedition 31. Major activity on board the station today is revolved around the undocking of the Progress 46 cargo ship, which took place earlier this morning at 6.04 a.m. Central Time, while the station flew about 245 miles above southeast Russia, just north of the Mongolian border. Meanwhile, the crew on board has been involved in quite an array of different maintenance activities and a few biomedical experiments throughout their day, starting off with Commander Burbank, who's been doing some unloading from the ATV-3 cargo vehicle, which is the European Space Agency's uh, cargo resupply ship currently still docked to the station. Aside from that, he'll be doing some work on the waste and hygiene compartment, changing out uh, the urine receptacle and also an insert filter. Moving on, Russian cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov is doing some training today with the TORU, or the Telerobotically Operated Rendezvous Unit. He was doing that alongside Ala Kononenko as they prepare for the upcoming docking of the Progress 47 spacecraft scheduled to take place on Sunday at 9.40 a.m. Central Time. He was also doing some crew departure preparation work as he will be returning home again on April 27th alongside Commander Burbank and fellow Russian cosmonaut Anatoly Ivanishin. Ivanishin, meanwhile, is working on uh, quite a few biomedical experiments on board the station, starting off his day with the Russian immuno experiment, taking some saliva and blood samples, and also taking a stress test. This looks to uh, study any of the changes of these astronauts' uh, immune system responses during their long-duration space flights. He will also be working with the pneumocard study, which looks to uh, investigate the adaptation of the cardiovascular system of these crew members as they're exposed to that low uh, microgravity environment for long durations of time. And his other major task for the day will be uh, photographing the docking assembly that that Progress 46 spacecraft just undocked from. Again, some of the more prep work that they're doing and, uh, to be prepared for that upcoming docking of Progress 46 on Sunday. Our third Russian cosmonaut, Ala Konyanko, again participated in that TORU drill alongside Anton Shkaplerov. And he'll also be doing a video downlink test via their KU band a little bit later today to make sure all the systems are still working uh, as they're expected following that progress on docking. European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers is also doing uh, another biomedical experiment today, working on the CARD experiment taking some blood and urine samples, as well as doing a few rebreathing exercises throughout the day. CARD looks to uh, investigate the mechanisms of heart disease uh, using different portable equipment and studies the blood pressure decreases in the human body as it's exposed to this microgravity environment on board the International Space Station. And then our last Expedition 30 crew member, Don Pettit, was working on the vascular experiment earlier today, uh, very similar to the Russian experiment, the pneumo card, where it's looking to study the effects of long-duration space flights on the cardiovascular system. Uh, and this is usually done, uh, these changes are brought about by the unique microgravity environment and could impact that vascular system and accelerate the stiffening of blood vessels, which actually parallels the aging process that we see here down on Earth. 
And then he'll also be working pretty extensively with Robonaut today, the station's uh, dexterous robot uh, companion on board, moving it through uh, a few waste moving activities and testing its visual acuity and also its dexterity as it works to manipulate a task board.